What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a little bit of a conversational video where we're talking about V2.5, okay? So we all know that it's going to be coming tomorrow. Sorry about the voice as well as it is a bit raspy, but we will be doing a big live stream tomorrow, Thursday the 13th of April. It's going to be our longest stream to date and we hope to see you guys in the chat to keep us company as we go through V2.5 and all it has to offer together and uncover and discover everything, right? So in terms of v2.5 it's the same thing every month with new updates i see people asking me oh you know i saw master league is coming i saw this is coming that's coming listen lads you know i i'm not going to you know put down anybody that puts out rumors and say that they know this or they know that is coming or whatever right we already know what's coming in v2.5 will there be a couple of surprises will there be a couple of additions will there be a couple of balances to the gameplay yes i believe there will be and i'm going to get into what i would like to see for v2.5 as well right but in terms of kind of this wish list of, oh, you know, they're going to add Master League tomorrow. I mean, you need to be realistic. They're not going to add something without some sort of recognition of it. The same way as they get this recognition of the spring update, which is, as we know now, the V2.5 update that's launching tomorrow, right? And we know what's coming in that. We've got additional player slots. We've got new skills that are able to be added for a maximum of 15 skills to the players instead of 10. And we also have new ways of getting contract renewals, whether that's earning them as rewards through the match pass or login bonuses or releasing five star player value players of the following types, as you see there. You also have the legacy transfer that's going to be coming in as well. And as I said, I fully expect there to be a few balances to gameplay. They'll probably talk about that in a little kind of like... Um, patch notes type thing like this as well as they've done before um you know but there's always hot fixes for balance issues and stuff like that right so i mean we all we already know what's going to be coming in v2.5 right we know that that is exactly what has been confirmed for v2.5 um what i would like to see more so as somebody that plays this game regularly and plays it as one of my you know probably my main uh game like in that i spend most of my hours here right i just think we need to kind of like think outside the box in terms of events and stuff right i definitely think they should add filter systems to the events if they're not going to add it in matchmaking they could add it across dream team events or the authentic match events i also think with the eFootball league they need to probably rethink that a little bit as well i just think that in the month lads me personally right if somebody that does content and i know a lot of people will be able to play a lot more games than me because it takes me probably longer to edit the videos and upload videos and do live streams and stuff than actually just you know like whack off about five six seven eight matches a night if i do be able to get on for like two hours right but i would like to see more of an integration with the match passes you see here um and the eFootball league that there is actually dynamic challenges with it within the match pass for those that you know have limited time to play the game that are casual a lot of my friends you know are that little bit older they've got kids and stuff and it's hard for them to keep up with all the content but then you have guys that are able to play you know 40 hours a week or 30 hours a week and you know the content isn't enough for them so i do think that i would like to see there more of a balance between you know casuals that get on for an hour or two after work on a saturday or maybe on the weekend a little bit um or else you know like just have a, a lot more to do for people that want to grind but not have to you know hold the hand of somebody that is a casual and and make them feel like they're never going to get to the to the top of the mountain if they want to build a good team you know especially without spending coins right so that is something that i would like to see because look at the end of the day lads right and i've i've kind of i've said this for a while right you know the the coins and the packs and all that i think that they are extremely balanced this year like if you have a little bit of know-how and knowledge in how to in how to train players right you mightn't get overall values the same you know as some of these guys and some of the players we will be getting new nominating contracts as well um as you see here because there's only a couple of hours left on them at the time of recording there's only one day left so they'll be rehashed as well you would expect some more nominating contracts there we also have the new momentum dribbling ones dropping as well uh i think it's vinicius jr matoma and moraz i think from city but that's uh that's the momentum dribblers they're going to be similar and going to operate the similar is that they're going to have the momentum dribbling skill uh, a unique skill only for these three players the same way as they released the phenomenal finishers and they were not, they released the fortress players and we still have the the passing is it the game changing pass that we still have as well to come out for passers um you would expect you know maybe De Bruyne to have that or somebody like that but look we know what we're going to be getting um in terms of v2.5 you know we're going to get a lot of cards we're going to get a lot of content uh in terms of 
kind of the in-game stuff but i would definitely like to see some of the gameplay more balanced and some of the gameplay kind of a little bit more rewarding in that you are kind of still plugging away not just at the match pass but that you're able to be rewarded on the pitch right because look when the game flows and i've kind of said this from playing the game regularly over the last couple of months when the game flows and you get your opponent on the ropes and you're able to string a few passes together the game is really enjoyable you know you can use your player's strengths you can you know use the game mechanics to your advantage and actually play a very nice attractive brand of football right the problem is is that at the moment in my opinion the balance is very unbalanced in terms of what actually works and is rewarded on the pitch compared to actually playing you know proper kind of um variety a proper variety of football you know that sometimes if the wings aren't working you can go central but you know the central never really fails if you are conti continuously playing it continuously putting the ball in the box and look at the end of the day lads the hardest thing in football whether it's playing a five aside um with a bunch of out of shape lads or you know you're playing uh proper proper football right at a good standard the hardest thing is always to score goals right because it's easy to stop goals but it's hard to stop them are hard to score them but i do think in e football for v2.5 and especially as we lead it into v2.6 or else we go straight to 3.0 whatever update comes next i would like to see there be more of a reliance on you know being able to set your team up not having to focus on the central that you know a lot of the times when you get caught in possession a lot of the game rewards pressure you know putting your opponent under maximum pressure turning over the ball so for me that is kind of where i would like to see it go um in terms of gameplay you know what i mean i would like to see challenges for keeping clean sheets i know a couple of people are going to play you know jose Mourinho and park the bus but i would like to see a lot of that stuff kind of come in dynamically right because i do think that the gameplay itself it is good it has a lot of work still to do and it does reward certain you know quick counter and long ball counter play style more than any but when it does click for you out wide or it clicks possession based you know you can actually have some really good solid football there I just think that everything else needs to be balanced along the way and that's something that i would definitely definitely want to see over the course of v2.5 right realistically we're probably not going to get another update until you know maybe the middle of may um maybe even june um and then that'll probably tide us over whatever update that is that might tide us over then till august or september or whatever right obviously that's not confirmed yet it's just me thinking out loud um but i do think that you know in order for this game to grow and to develop right because they are getting serious downloads on it and it has been a success it's about retaining people and i think the only way you do that is to make it very fun and rewarding or rewarding and then fun you know it depends which priority you have and i just feel at the moment that there is a lot of untapped potential there that they do need to start kind of scratching away at that surface and getting underneath to the good stuff right so let me know your thoughts lads obviously sorry about the voice as well i will be bringing the energy tomorrow it's just a bit of a casual video where we're chatting as i said i am still enjoying e-football i still think that there's a lot of good there to be had but yeah i mean you know bringing in the game bringing co-op to the game bringing online you know challenges where you need to team up with your opponent or over friend match or stuff like that adding to the experience of the game would just be huge for the game and give it a new lease of life but let's see what v2.5 brings let me know what you guys are hoping for no matter how big or small it is i think we do kind of know what's going to be coming tomorrow but let me know your hopes and i'll talk to you in a bit peace hope to see you guys tomorrow as well in the live stream all right lads good luck